Kirkland. 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 K
Uh, you know what? I guess what I do learn is that there's always there's a world of people out there that I've never met before who happen to be brilliant people, mm -hmm. and I, I'm always reassured by that. I always like that. Oh, suddenly I'm in the sandbox with a, a guy I've never worked with before. I've heard nice things about him, <laughs> but I didn't really know him. Mm -hmm. I thought, hey, he's pretty good. Or I and and so I take joy in being immersed in that universe where I'm surrounded by a bunch of people who do their job really well. And I felt that way on Cheers, which was my first real. Mm -hmm intense television experience where I realized every person that showed up there was, if not a genius, but then the most capable person that ever mm. showed up in my experience. And that continues to be my experience when I have the good fortune to be in a show that's as good as this one. <laughs> I guess we're all going to be nice to each other, but <laughs> everything matters in a television. Everything matters in a television show. You need good writing and good directors, and the production matters. In the long run, people tune into television shows to watch the actors. The mm. casting mm. is the make-or-break thing in any television series. The audience is going to decide. I, I think we're in pretty good shape on this one. It seems okay. We'll, yeah. we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I always say it's a writer's <laughs> medium for, in television, and and. You know, what you told me, what is it, uh, uh, a good actor can help okay writing, but a, a bad actor can't mess up great writing. Right. And so yeah, it's, yeah, it's a, a big part of the reason we're here is because of Chris yeah. and, and Billy Ray, who created such yeah, a rich tapestry in this mm -hmm. world and yeah. had such brilliant ideas and themes that were so uh, rich, but also really relevant now as well, even though this takes place in the 1930s. And that's why one of the main reasons I think all of us involved in the project wanted to be on board is because of their vision. Hey, what we really figure out is you can do the best work you want, and then you have to get lucky. So now we're going to... Now and that is that. That's true. And you have, to, you have to allow the audience time, and I think maybe yeah. this is what the streaming services have done. You have to allow the audience time to fall in love with the characters. Mm -hmm. if, that, if that actually doesn't happen, then you will be canceled, especially in, in, in traditional television. Mm -hmm. You know, one and out was yeah. pretty common. But it was unfortunate because that's not how audiences come to a show. Yeah. They need to yeah, fall in love yeah. with them. Yeah. And you can't do it at first blush. Yeah. We you do know. have the luxury of time in this, yeah. in this streaming really service nice to Did release them all like at once and to take yeah. your time with yeah. the stories in a very yeah. kind of 70s slow burn way. Who the, yeah, exactly. The slow burn thing. Yeah. is like, you know, you watch a movie like Rocky today and you think, oh, wow, where's the, you know, hey, come on, let's get to it. And it's a great movie, but we're, we've been trained to think a little differently. The streaming, the streaming stuff is actually taking us back to it a bit, I think, which I, people can consume stuff that actually makes you think mm -hmm. and that asks you to wait a little bit. It says, oh, where's this going? It's, it's, it's great. I think television's got a new, a new life as a result of all this stuff, which right. is wonderful. It's novelistic now, and people really like that. Yeah. So no obligation to finish the story at the end of the episode and hope they'll come back in a week. Yeah. And it's like soap operas in a weird way. I mean, it's, what's funny is it's, it's the... The narrative has become, uh, you know, um, it continues chronologically, mm -hmm. and uh, you want to know what happens from week to week. You are, there's a, there's an episode that drops you off in one place, and, and your expectation is to pick up where the last one left off. Standalone episodes are no longer really a big thing on television, mm -hmm. and they may make their return. Who knows? But this is this is fun. It's storytelling in, in a long form. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's neat. Serialized television. Perfect. Thank you very much. You bet. That's Thank great. You. God, I talked too much.